for the PC. And just to let you know, none of these guns are actually in the game. An anime inspired story with no actual, it's not an adaptation of anything, set in a post apocalyptic future, what else? With a purple haired heroine trying to uncover what exactly is going on. She starts out working for the government, but she begins to doubt what is what the truth is and what people's motivations are. She doesn't know her past, what else, but there's something there. There is a dark secret, of course. The game is basically a third-person action game. I don't want to say shooter because it kind of isn't. You have guns, but you're really not supposed to use them all that much. You have very limited ammo capacity, and you can only carry, you know, I think it's one gun at a time. It's been a while since I played it. One or two, anyway. I think it's one. You're either using the gun or you're using martial arts, and this is really the key. They want you to use martial arts. And the martial arts are pretty cool. I think I mainly got it for the martial arts and I was not disappointed. Basically the system is that if you're standing still and pointing at the enemy, meaning you can't do this if you're being attacked from both sides, or if you're backing up, you will defend yourself. Meaning, you know, you can't be attacking them or walking towards them and defend yourself. You punch with the left mouse button and the right one do, you know, does kicks. There are combos and through the combos you can unleash more powerful attacks and you have these powerful attacks and some of the enemies also have some powerful attacks. Even the very basic enemies have powerful attacks and of course the boss yeah more powerful attacks. So basically it's not a an all-out fair fight you have to be sneaky and fast and aggressive some but the fights are almost always fun, and you can pull off some really cool moves. You can do throws where you crack their neck and various things. They really went for a very smooth fighting experience. So you can, you know, go up against, you know, three to five enemies, all of whom might have guns as long as they're not too powerful, and you can take them all out without using your gun. You know, you can just kick their asses, basically. And this is very fun, very satisfying. The guns are pretty nice. You have a basic pistol and a submachine gun, and other than that, pretty much everything else is very sci-fi, very anime, you know, energy weapons. There are some really cool twisted ones. You have a sort of seeking weapon which sends out like nano bugs or something that sucks out the life energy of anyone it gets close to, including yourself, so you'll want to not be too close to it. You can you can basically kick any time. Even if you if you have your gun out, you can still kick by right clicking. You only have a few boxes of ammo, you know, of bullets basically. Bullets are energy, and these go pretty fast, and you know, they're few and far between, you know, finding more. You can pick up the gun of any enemy left behind, and it might already have some ammo in it, but other than that, they're really isn't all that much ammo in this game. 
the character design is reasonable. It's not that good. The characters themselves are fairly nicely written, and the plot isn't bad. The game utilizes a checkpoint saving system, so as much as you might like to, if you want to play it again, you're going to be overriding your old data. There's also no profile system. You can only play it once per computer, you know, unless you just want to overwrite everything you did. You can't play it twice and then expect to be able to load the stuff you got the first time, you know. You can play it twice and go back to areas you've already beaten, but again, anytime it, you know, it's not a choice if you checkpoint save or not, so you might lose, you know, if you've done really well when you got to a checkpoint and then you play it again, you do not as well, yeah. Several of the boss fights are martial arts, or at least it's a good idea to use martial arts. There really aren't that many fights you can win just using the guns. Since it's checkpoint saving, you do also have to worry about, you know, there are a number of places where you can fall from a high place and you might die. The level design, it's not bad, but I think I, I read that they really wanted to make it very realistic that every area should look like it does in real life or like it would in real life because there aren't really areas that look quite like anything in this in real life but the thing is they this led to apparently that there really wasn't a lot of personalizing of the various areas. Basically, the areas are very... All, all the rooms are very empty and... I mean, I'm, I'm really not the type to notice stuff like this, but in this I did. It's that empty. It's really not as detailed with the amount of objects that there are and how different areas look from each other, as you would expect from a regular game. But, you know, the universe is gripping and engaging. You find yourself, you know, really lost in this big post-apocalyptic world with, you know, futuristic buildings and yeah that's pretty much it you're moving around futuristic buildings you dodge lasers that set off alarms some and pretty much the entire game consists of you running around beating people up there's no sneaking and you can't carry very many guns at the same time so, you know, you'll want to carefully select, and if your gun runs out of bullets, you might want to drop it and, you know, replace it instead of reloading it. The overall plot isn't bad, but it's not that original. And I would say that the couple of animated sequences, not really CGI, more like you know 2D animation as you would expect from anime, they're pretty good. I've personally played this several times. It's just usually been on a new computer each time. And there are, you know, boss battles that I find myself going back to and playing again because the fighting system is really quite good. All in all, it's not a game that you're going to find yourself playing a ton. You know, once you've played it once, you might not go back to it 
and there's really only the one storyline mode. You know, there's there's no multiplayer, no unlockables. You know, this was before that really took took off. You know, the AI is okay, but if you like, you know, martial arts and games and games where the martial arts really are you know, have more emphasis placed upon them than the shooting then I would definitely recommend this so that was my spoiler review of Oni I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you next time